we have got round about a 50 kilometer drive to stay in Tamboti tented camp for two nights <laughs> <laughs> in a safari tent yes super that exciting gonna be brilliant can't wait yeah it's gonna be a, a good stay never been there no, it's going to be our first visit to Tamboti. But we've heard good things so far from folks we've chatted to in the park about Tamboti. Yeah, yeah. So I think both of us are very excited. Those trees behind there, there's one in this tree and then one still further down. Yes! <laughs> one at each tree! Yes. I'm making use of the shade. <gasps> There's a tiny little one. Oh, you remember this day? Oh, look how beautiful. Side are loads of elephants. Yes, look at the four there though. Yeah. Hippo. laughing at us. They might be. There's an impala on the other side and drinking water. There's a warthog. Several. An another warthog. Loads of elephant on the other side there. Some coming down to drink here on the right. Oh, the Intermani Dam. You can see the elephants come through here quite a bit. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six is my quick count. Sure. Giraffe. It looks as if this guy's had like a broken neck or something. He's definitely a, an extra bump or something in there. You know when they go necking like that, I wonder if he got damaged like that when they, was, they were having a disagreement and smacking each other's necks. But do you think he's okay? Yeah, well he seems to be surviving. That's a big time kink in the neck there. Yes, like a, almost like an Adam's apple. Yeah. Pelwana River. Pelwana River. And there, I'm sure I saw Ireland. No. I'm telling you, I'm sure I saw Ireland. No, it's a kudu. <laughs> it fools me. Just briefly, I saw it there. Why you do that to me? Uh, it's a kudu. But it's a beautiful antelope. All the same. 
only seen Irland once before in all our visits. Yeah, look at that. Looks like a tawny eagle, eh? You know, I don't know. We only have one pick. There it goes. Wow. Crossing the Nwamatsatsa River. Oh, no. <laughs> What are you singing along here? <laughs> I wanted to sing a song about the Nuamatsatsa River. Okay. I didn't know you were filming. <laughs> yeah, he is. Painfully beautiful. Yep. <gasps> Those horns are enormous. No, my tarts are water hole. Yay! If this wind pump is anything to go by. I don't know if the water hole, there's two wind pumps that are, have ceased to be. Oh, wow. Oh. One there and one there. Sure. I don't see any water. Neither do I. So we've had to come to Orpen Gate to fill up with petrol. Right. Where is the filling pumps? There, over there. What a cool filling station. Yeah. Oh, see they're on, so they do have... They have power at least. We filled up and they have no fences here. Eh? She says lions walk across the road. Elephants, buffalo. Thank you. It looks like a private company doing the protection services. It does, there. yes. Is that that same tawny eagle? I think it is. I mean, not the exact same one, but is that a tawny eagle? It looks like it to me. Tamboti. All checked in and we on our way to our tent. Yes. Tamboti, turn right. Yes, ma'am. The cattle grid. Yep. Oh, I already like it. <laughs> no wonder these, well, they warn us about badgers and monkeys and baboons because look how wild it is. And this is exactly what we love. Yeah. As wild as possible. Sure. Number one to ten this way. Okay. So I presume these are the ablutions? I think you're right. Can we please see a honey badger? Yes, number seven. Okay, we have our own little walkway. Yes. 
Looks good to me. Yep, it does. Pretty dark. Let me see where I turn on the light. Found the light switches. This is a stunning size tent. Shio. Oh, we've got so much space in here. Phantasmopolitan. But this view, this view blows my mind. Port Sonia Coke Zero, got myself a castle light and Dusty's enjoying the view of the riverbed. This is the light. Yeah, definitely and Dusty agrees. We've spoiled ourselves with a little pizza. Well, it's not so little, it looks pretty large to me. A Hawaiian pizza. With extra mushroom. Yeah. Dusty just wants to get stuck in, but I told him he has to wait. I'm starving, so I'm yeah, going to get stuck. Let's get stuck in. His mouth is open. He's also getting hot. It's beautiful, that blue on his head, eh? Hey? Wow. Guinea fowl. Is it a helmeted guinea fowl? I don't think so. I'll look it up. Yeah. It is indeed a helmeted guinea fowl. Is it a helmeted guinea fowl? Okay, cool. Sonia, you bird are you. Wowza. that the young one's horns go straight up still before nature starts bending. Exactly. S106. For this late afternoon drive? Yep. I think this is going to be such a nice road. I hope so. What makes you say that? I don't know. I just get a feeling. My feeling could be totally off mark, but who knows. <laughs> well, every road is ultimately a wonderful road. Ah, that's for sure. I see it windy, windy, windy there in the distance. Definitely. <laughs> Okay. All right. Am I going to have a squeeze? I think so. The site of the old Rabalai entrance gate, 1926 to 1954. 
It's an, old, an old entrance. Place. Yeah, it looks like it. Rabalai Hati Interpretation Site, Kruger National Park Historical Site Preservation. As an elephant skull here. Hi. Eileen and James Orpen. Okay, so Eileen Orpen was very heavily involved with procuring farms, actually seven farms, and donating the lands to expand the Kruger National Park. Field ranges, section ranges. Tuskers of Kingfisher Sprite. Onder dak word hier verkry. I mean, how cool. Yeah. So you, it was the entrance gate and you came and you got your key. Yes. Back then. Unbelievable. To this part of the park. Yeah, to this part of the park, yeah. Wow. Here he is. Oh, here he is. I wanted to say, wow, he disappeared quickly. Oh, he's a big boy, eh? Look at the eyelashes. Yeah.
the sun is setting on day 11 in the park. Day, day 11? Not what? That is our first leopard sighting. Can you believe it? What an absolutely perfect way to end today. <laughs> All right, little bit, little bit. Okay, there he is. There he is. These are two veggie kebabs which we bought, which I think are going to be great on the fire. Let's see how they turn out. The ultimate braai master is hard at work. <laughs> the braai master is not very experienced in braaiing veggies. Well, who forgot the three bean pot? So I should come and cook them. I'm sure they'll be just fine. There's a few poiky ingredients on that skewer. Look at here, a tamboti, eh? So here we are. These are pork rashes, eh? No, beef. Beef rashes, okay, cool. Beef rashes that we have got on the coals. I think this is going to be a nice meal tonight. <laughs> Four thirty-two in the morning, and we are headed out. That's it, brilliant. Eh? <laughs> How was that um, honey badger last night? Oh. Woke up with a dust beam attacking the dirt bin. <laughs> right outside my window yeah. with a genet. With a genet, yeah. Which was also fantastic. Beautiful, eh? Yeah, loved it, loved it, loved it. So I was super happy to confirm that we are sharing a camp with a honey badger. Yeah. The genet was a bonus. Yes, it was, eh? Three. Yep. The hyena clan. Wow, look at this one. Stop. This is a huge one. It's enormous. Oh. 
So they live in the culvert? Yeah. It's their den. There's another one walking across the road. All the cars arriving now. Check out the hyenas. <laughs> Making a little jam. Yes. Love that. Just keep on coming. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. Okay, they seem to have been the last yeah. of this herd. There is a little daker, common daker. Oh, Not that common. No. Boba Jan Kranz. Nice. Got to love that name. <laughs> Just lets you know that you are a high up. I'm just looking at the beauty and at the same time scanning the area so that I don't end up being a meal. Sure. Nervous alightment for you. Yeah, I heard weird sounds coming from this direction. I just like to see. It could be baboons, it could be anything, you know. Let's see if we can find something. Now, we did a bit of investigation, yeah, but we couldn't find anything. <laughs> they love lying in the road, eh? Yeah, at like 10 past 6, quite a few cars must have been by here already. But it's still in the road. Is he breathing? Yes. Is he alright? I don't know. He looks skinny, eh? He does, very much so. You sure he's alive? He's alive. Yeah, he's blinking. Oh, he's definitely alive. And I'm presuming it's a he, I don't know. He looks very thin though. Yeah, he's thin. I don't know if he's well. Young, they tough. Is that mange or what do they get? They do get mange. But he looks, he just looks thin. Maybe he hasn't eaten in a few days. I just spotted these tracks. Or spoor of a, I think it's a leopard. A bit small for a lion, but deep as it could be, though. 
You say they look fresh? They look fresh, yes. These vehicle tracks are fresh tracks and this is on top of the vehicle tracks. Also some sort of busted, isn't it? Busted? Yeah, some black-breasted busted or something like that. We looked it up the other day, I yes. can't remember. He's just disappeared now, it's a black-bellied busted. This little turtle dove is flying in front of us the whole time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Give him a gap, babe. No, I won't hurt him. But he's just, he just keeps on doing it. <gasps> Interesting, eh? Yes. I can't believe it. <laughs> and he just lands on further in the road. <laughs> he doesn't he want wants to, to stay he, ahead yeah. of us. It's alone and his trunk's off. I want to cry. Kirivana Waterhole. I find this very interesting to see how the termites are building up a new tower on their termite mound. It's a chimney man. It's so incredible how they do that, eh? It's a gentleman with his harem. Yep. Massive tree, eh? Check his roots. Yeah. It's so incredible. Yeah. Have we arrived at Girivana? Looks like it. And it looks like the solar panels are intact. Yes. And the wind pump too. It's good to see. There's some water. Are those hardy dogs? No, those yes, those are hardy dogs. I thought they were Egyptian geese, definitely a hardy dog. There was a bit of a muddy mess here. Eh? Many of them like that. More coming to drink. Yes. And blue wildebeest on their way. More bookies. These are all young. They're yeah. frisky. They chase each other away at the water. Eh? Is that what the bookies are doing? The blue willabies is chasing them away. I love seeing activity at a water hole. Yes. An Egyptian goose just arrived. Okay. He can charge in down there. It looks like a tawny eagle or something drinking water there. Vultures. Playing our kids in the water. Eh? Yes. And those two were their trunks. <laughs> I 
deep in now are they still going at it is that serious or is that playful i think they're just playing they're teenagers i would say two strong teenagers and now it's getting serious out of the water I want to say at least 50. Oh yeah. Did he catch a bird? Is that a bird? Yes. Good heavens, no. So there is some housekeeping to be done when you go on an extended trip like this. And uh, got the washing going. Drying now. So. The first meal of today is a flake cone. Yes, <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> no, it's hot, so it's going to be nice. It's melting so quickly. Yeah, enjoy. Mm, I will. I'm having cotton candy frozen yogurt. Nice. That sounds divine. Good. Probably also melting. Yep. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It'll still go down well. I believe there is a giraffe convention, yeah? And I believe you are correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine at the back, ten. <gasps> <laughs> that is amazing. If you drive past, yeah, you can't see anything. But in the shade of this tree, Sonia spotted this fella, and I can't believe that she saw it. This male lion. Sleeping away. For a moment he thought he was dead, but then he lifted his head and peeped at us. I first want to make sure everything is alive. Yeah. But he's fine. He's just sleeping away. I can see him breathing. It's like half past eleven in the morning and it's quite hot. Yes. And um we don't think he's going to move anytime soon. We were waiting for a vehicle to come past so that we can share. But this road is very quiet. And if you're not observant, you won't see him there. He is very easy to miss. Yeah. I always check under the trees and that's how I caught him. Yeah, that is good spotting. Yeah, maybe we come back here and we see if we can still see him. Yes, we will. Oh, he's getting excited about his grass. Looks like it. What about us? Shishangani. Water hole. But on the top there is hyena droppings. We were taught that they are the ones that turn white like that. Yes. I don't know where the water hole is. Can't see the hyena. Can't see the water hole. And hear the birds. I think it must have been visible at some point when the trees were smaller. Yes. And that hyena came by. Uh, Used it as a viewpoint. Long time ago. That little zebra was born yesterday, I'm telling you. That must be the smallest one I've ever seen. Ever. That's the smallest I've ever seen. He's still wonky. He's still wonky. That was a cool thing to see. He's tiny. Stay 
lies right next to mommy. Yep. Instinct is the most amazing. You know what amazes me amongst all those stripes? How does he know which is mommy? He does for some. Somehow he knows. He's just the cutest thing. He's dying. Look at the little fluff all along the back. Yes. Still already has his own distinctive markings. small this tian book he is. Oh, compared to the impala. <gasps> Tiny. So you're about to have lunch here next to the side of the road and this is something I've known you for a long time and this is something that I've never been able to understand how you can <laughs> enjoy it, yeah. eat it to begin with. Yep. And I just want everyone to know that no matter what there is in the house, if he feels like this, he'll make it. Yes. So it has three ingredients. Yes. Show us. Packet of tomato sauce chips. Okay, it doesn't have to be tomato doesn't sauce. Doesn't have chutney, whatever, yeah. whatever flavor you enjoy. A roll, yes. hot dog roll. Now break it open at home, I use a knife. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I put margarine or butter on, but when there's nothing of that available. Just open it up like this. Okay, there is none of that available right now. It's back at the tent. Then I take the chips out. I stack it on there. Don't skim with the chips. So is it nicer with margarine? It's nicer with margarine, yes. Okay, you crush it. Yes, when you close it. Yes. Now these are Kruger Park rolls, not the ones I'm used to. They're falling apart. <laughs> Goes the same way. Mm -hmm. Okay, is it good? Mm -hmm. Making um, a mess. Mm -hmm. And then you wash it down with Coke. Is Coke the third ingredient? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what's the verdict? I love it. The Kruger Park rolls good? They're a little... They don't open up that easy, but it works fine. It tastes the same. And it's the crunch you mm -hmm. ask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this has been in your... I don't want to say family, but you, you, it's been a tradition of yours for a long, long time. Many years. I, when I was still on construction, a friend of mine, we worked together. We used to club together when we were still apprentices. Go to the shop, lunchtime, buy us a packet of chips, half a loaf of white bread, and we used to eat it like that with Coke. I can have the rolls, <laughs> and another time I'll have the chips. I'll have Coke all the time, but together, mm -hmm. no. Enjoy. Thank you. We happen to stop here next to this contraption. It looks like an A-frame to me with tires. Curtis is eating, but he says he thinks it's for vehicles to drag this along the gravel road. To help with the corrugation. Yes. So I'll go with that. They better get going on some of the roads pretty soon. No matter how many times I see those horns, I'm always impressed. This one in the front has two full turns. Yes. The other one's still got to get an extra one. Yes. Still here. Yeah. He's just washing now. He is beautiful. Look at that mane. How? It's tasting the air. You 
in the shade. Flapping their ears to cool down. Even the little one's ears are going wild. If I had ears, they would flap too. <laughs> Today. <laughs> oh! They are beautiful, these, eh? Bright. Yes, almost orange. Hmm. Check out nursing. One little pup. One. Oh. We're back in camp and there's a little bush buck. Hi, Kirti. Just don't get tired of these sunsets, eh? Nope, we'll never. Who can get tired of a bushveld sunset? We are not in the mood to make a big meal this evening. So we are having bacon kips with cream cheese. That's the first course. So the cold meal continues. We are having sliced ham. Correct. And um, a garlic potato salad. Uh, let's call it a garlic crushed potatoes. Let's do that. Good morning from a cool Tambuti this morning. This is our second morning waking up here in Tambuti. It was so nice spending a second day in camp. A time to relax. We were sitting here around the table this morning and Sonia says to me, one would think you'd get tired of this place after a while. But nah, we don't get tired of this place. It is absolutely fantastic. No, we're really loving this. So we're starting to get ready. Sorry, 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 sorry. Interruption, what, what, interruption. What, what, what? what? <laughs> Today is Wednesday. Yes. 6 December. Yeah. And it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Have yeah. a fantastic birthday, my angel. Thanks, my angel. I am so happy that you can spend it in your favorite place in the whole world yeah. and that I can spend it with you. Thank so you. Don't expect any major gifts. This is the this gift. This is your <laughs> gift. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is my gift. I love it, yeah. And I was thinking this morning, Hello, morning, morning. Have we ever spent any of our birthdays here? Never. We've never spent never. either of our birthdays in, in Kruger. No. So it's quite special. It is We've special. We've done our anniversary now. Christmas. We have spent a Christmas. Christmas before. Yeah, we yeah. Have, yeah. And this time we're doing anniversary and your birthday. Yes. Yeah. Let's have a fantastic day. Thanks, my Happy angel. birthday. Mwah. Mwah. As you're enjoying your cup of Milo. Yep. I interrupted you earlier. You were saying we were getting ready. And what are our plans? We're getting ready to um, pack up. Get everything loaded into the car and then take a drive through the camp and see what it looks like. Yes. We haven't done that. It's so big. I'd I'm like not gonna to. I'm going to walk, so we just take a drive through and see what it looks like. I'd like to. Okay. Monkeys and baboons visited me this morning um, while you were still sleeping. It was quite exciting. I heard the baboons and I saw one as I peeped up out of bed through the mesh of the tent. Yeah. I saw the one big one running past, yeah. They use the tent's uh, roofs as their trampolines <laughs> and they jump on the tent and into the branches. Crazy. It adds to the experience though. I'm yeah. just sorry um, Mr. Honey Badger didn't come and visit again but last night. But we saw night. him night before last, yeah, which was fantastic. Did. My first sighting little, ever. Little machines, those things. Eh? Yeah. That was a good one. All right, so I'm um, finishing our Milo and off we go. Yes, ma'am. I just want to take a drive through and see. So we were... At number seven. They're already changing it, yes. the sheets and stuff. They can't wait for one to get out to change it quickly. Eh? I think we check out later than most. Yes. Well, today we do. 
and this is from number one to number six it's such a bush camp you you can't see really there's the tents all it, they all look exactly the same there's just the two beds and the four beds and we had a four bed which i'm so glad about because we always chuck our stuff on the two extra beds yes it just gives on more space this is a, a two bed they're cute though they are cute but yeah it'll just be too with all the stuff we have to travel with and these are far from the ablutions, eh? Oh. So these folks have no issue walking the distance. We were just perfect. Yes. This is one and two. Okay. Okay, let's take a drive around like this. Is this a hide? Oh, this is a hide right on the boundary. I didn't even know there's a hide here. Bird hide sponsored by SEPI, Siemens Telecoms, project arranged by Honorary Rangers, West Rand, 1998. This is cute. Right on the boundary of it. I don't think there's much water, but these reeds indicate that there must be water here somewhere. a nice neat little bird hide but I, I'm surprised at how old it is 1998 which means the camp is that old which means that you and I had no idea exactly oh we've got an idea now but we did the main camps we always thought the bushveld camps were either more expensive or I don't know what but we did the main camps That's only, all, only until the, this time yes and I'm glad we've done the satellite camps and the bushveld camps. Well, camps. you wanted to spend so long here that we had to include some of them and I'm happy that we yes. did. What is this? A it's like a lava. Fire pit, yes. What? You can come and make a fire and just sit, chill out here. Yeah. yeah, I think if you're a group of friends, you can. And yes, the boundary as well. Have a nice braai. Oh, that's cool. Is that the boundary fence? Yes, that's the boundary. There's the boundary fence right there. Wow. Imagine the, the night sounds, eh? Yeah. I just love the wildness. Yes, this is really wild, eh? So this is just a part of the park where they decided, okay, we're coming to plonk 30 tents down here. Yeah. And the rest remained as is. And the badgers just stayed while they built. Around it. And so did the genets and the bushbuck. And the baboons and the monkeys. Well, they swung in. <laughs> It looks like there are 30, 30 yeah. in total. So this is 11 so this to was hours, 1 yes. to 10 and then 11 to 30 down this way. Okay, we've never been down here. No. Oh, 31 to 40. What? I can't even believe it. Oh, that's a, that's a built structure. I wonder if this is the office or the laundromat or, or whatever. Yeah, probably their laundry, eh? Hey? Yes, but they do have Looks like it, yes. Yeah. It's a very big camp. Oh, I'm blown away. Surprising. Is the reservoir oh, water, for the water tanks? Yeah. yeah. I think there's another ablution facility. They must have several. Yeah. 
Okay, so I think it's 40 then in total. Yeah. Cool. Okay, yes, the other ablution facility, yes. Hello. Hi there. Badger didn't come and visit us, it had too many other tents. Yeah, he had a major place to pick and choose where he wanted it. Right, the refuse bins. This is incredible, though, eh? Yeah, I'm surprised. All along the Timbavati riverbed. Yes. Yeah. No wonder the one gentleman up north that we met at the start of our trip said this is his favourite camp. Yes, that's wild, eh? No, it's. I think it's the wildest one I've seen. Bushbuck? In oh, nature. several! back as well. Look how lucky are they. Yeah. They live like a peacefully. Eh? Definitely. Yes, the key box. Yes, perfect. There we go. It's in and the door's closed. There we go. And with that, we're leaving Tambuti. Yeah, that was our amazing stay at Tambuti camp. We're on our way to the next camp.